So you proposed before the actual Indian engagement ceremony in London, yeah. right? And then the wedding was, who's, whose planning was the wedding? Yours? Mine. All you. All me, uh, yeah, it was all me. Good, yeah. where was the wedding? Um, we did the wedding in New Jersey. So all the family flew over from England. Intimate affair or big Indian wedding? <laughs> big Indian wedding, 250. Massive. Yeah. Was it over a span of a couple of days? It was a week. Like for a week. It was yeah. so fun though, man. I swear yeah. to God, we had so much fun. Even all our friends and family to this day still say like there was nothing quite like that just because of the amount of parties, the amount of drinking, the amount of eating, yeah. the amount of mingling. It was just a it was lot just, of And fun. his family and um, my family, they just really connected. So it was just so much fun. You know, like it wasn't like two sides. Everybody was just together. You know? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah. And now fast forward to Ava. Oh yeah. my god, yeah. Nine months she's been in this world. Yeah. Nearly, nearly ten, yeah. yeah. Nearly ten. So how, how has this changed you? How has being a father impacted your life? A lot, man. It's changed me a lot. I didn't think it was going to. The thing I was scared about about having kids, which is it's so silly, but I think it's still, uh, it's still, you know, something that a lot of guys uh, think about and worry about. You think once you have a kid, all fun is over. That's what people think. Oh, I can't go out anymore. I'm not gonna be able to talk to my friends. I've just got a kid, I gotta be a dad, I gotta be responsible, I'm gonna become boring. That's what all these things were in my head and I love having fun. Anybody who really knows me knows I'm, that's what I love to do. I like to be silly and like to have fun and enjoy myself. Guess what, when you have that kid, it brings out more of a kid in you. Yeah. And so I'm even more of a kid now with her. And how has it impacted your music, being a father? It hasn't really, I'm gonna be honest, it hasn't. I've, I've written the most ridiculous sex songs since <laughs> having Ava and it has nothing, I have not toned down. The song that I, the album that I've just done is very, very out there, very explicit, it's super sexual. People would think you become all like, you know, but again, it didn't change me like that. Um, uh, I think uh, it's probably a nice thing that it didn't change me like that because my creativity and my artistry is something which is, you know, if it was that volatile, that a change like that in life could sway you into this way, I think it would be a little bit scary. Like, I still know who I am. What about you, Tara? How has being a mother changed you? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just beyond in love with her. I'm like the multitasker to the max now. You know, like my life is, my days go by so quickly and I'm like, what did I do today, you know? Um, but there's just nothing like it. She's very savvy at being a mom, you know what I mean? And, and like, she, like, you know some people who completely throws their life off and they're like, oh my God, I can't cope. I don't know what to do. She's just very slick with it all. It, she kind of managed to, and I think even with her pregnancy, it was like that. There's horror stories that when a woman gets pregnant, the guy is just like hiding in the corner, scared. Like, please, I'm sorry, don't beat me up. But you know, she wasn't like that. And she was very, very, she took it all in her stride. And you actually have launched a, a fitness blog with yeah. all these amazing videos that you do yeah. on social media. I actually follow some of your stuff. How, what prompted that and how did that come about? Um, it was totally organic, totally unplanned, totally after having Ava. Um, I mean, I am a certified yoga instructor. I am a certified nutritionist. Those are part of my history. The things, those are things that I just love. That was always my passion. Um, so that's always been a part of like, you know, what I put out to the world and share those tips because it's my passion. Um, but then after having Ava, it really, that changed a lot. Suddenly what was easy for me was not so easy anymore. You know, my six healthy meals a day, it just was not happening. Um, so it gave me a real new understanding for other people and for their needs, you know, and it gave me a new perspective on how to help people. So, um, so yeah, I just decided that it was time, you know. I always get girls asking me, what are you doing? How are you doing it? And um, I, I found a way to lose my baby weight. I got back in shape. I feel incredible. I'm, I have tons of energy. And um, I'm like, I can't be stingy about this. I have to share it with everyone. Mm -hmm. So now I'm literally working with girls individually. Um, you know, I, I literally, I'm their personal coach. You know, both of you, I think it's so interesting as a couple, you both use social media and you use your celebrity to really kind of tout your fitness. Mm. I see a lot of posts about you at the gym. I see, yeah. you know, all of your, your videos. Yeah. Why is this so important to you and what do you think this brings to your fans? 
I think we were both like that. When we first met, that was also another reason we connected because she was like, she could tell, oh, okay, he likes working out and he likes to eat healthy and stuff like that. So she was like, oh, okay, this is nice. We have a common interest. Um, I've always taken health and fitness so importantly because, you know, my granddad always used to say, he's like, you know, there's, you're nothing without health. You can have everything in the world. You can have all the money, you can have all of this, but if you're dying inside or if you're ill inside and you're not well, like you can't enjoy life. You can't run around and play with your kids. You can't go around the world because you can't fit in a seat in an aeroplane and you're uncomfortable. You can't breathe properly. Like all of these things, you can't enjoy life. So for me, health is really important. When I'm like 80 years old, man, I want to be fit and strong and be able to stand upright, not hunched over and not being able to do. And that can happen if you carry on working out, if you carry on uh, conditioning your body, if you eat well, you know what I mean? And so that for me is so is so important. Talk a little bit about your daughter. Uh, I just want to, I want to know a little bit more. You know, she's kind yeah. of developing a personality yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's like, oh, wait until she's doing this and wait until she's doing that. And I just was all about enjoying every stage, right. every cuddly moment, you know, like there's just nothing like that. I started reading to her from when she was 10 days old. She loves books. And people thought I was so weird. They were like, she's, you're reading to her? And she would just sit and listen and get, and it was just amazing, you know what I mean? So now, like today we went to music class and they read a book and she was like, front and center to go, you know, <laughs> and it's so cute, you know, to see that develop. And like today when she left me for the first time in the group, you know, I was happy because I want her to be like strong and independent. I don't want her to like, you know, I want her to know that I give her that love that she needs, that she can go and be whoever, you know, right. and go hang out with her little friends, you know? Right. So it was really cute. Just not the boys. I don't let her hang out with any boys yet. I he got very, very upset. Yeah, how is that going to work for he you? He got very, <laughs> one of the boys gave her a kiss. Yeah, I was not happy. He was only one years old, but I was not happy. He was not, I, was like, I took see? a picture. I thought it was so cute. Like, why are you showing this? I don't want to see this. He was like angry. It was amazing. <laughs> no, um, she is, I think she's like such a good blend of both of us as well. Just even the way like, you know, there'll be days where you see all, like that she's my mini me. And then there'll be days where I'm like, oh my God, I just see like baby pictures of him, you know? And, um, and she's just fun. Do you guys want to have more kids? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I tell all my friends now, I'm that baby pusher guy. I'm telling my brother, all my friends, I'm like, guys, seriously, don't be scared, do it. You don't understand until you're a parent. Like I, you know, I respect my parents more now being a parent. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I was so mean to you guys at some point. Like, you've given everything to me. Like, yeah. I wouldn't be, like, you know, it's, it's just, it's amazing. And so, yeah, I think it's, it's one of the most beautiful things in, in life to be able to, to be able to have a kid.